Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm a Today's video is my seven month bump update. I honestly can't believe that I'm near the end of my pregnancy. Well, I'm currently 30 weeks plus one day. Yeah, 30 weeks plus one, which means I literally have 10 weeks to go until this baby is born, which is crazy because I feel like I haven't got everything done yet. Sorry about the pile of washing. It's my clean washing. I need to put it away. But I haven't been bothered to do it just quite yet, but I will do it very soon. So I have no morning sickness anymore at all whatsoever. My skin, however, keeps having days where it'll go really, really clear and then the next day I'll be completely spotty, like I'll break out like absolute crazy. And it really, really aggravates me because I'm like, oh, I have clear skin today. Wake up the next day and I'm just broken out in loads of spots. But who knows, that could be stress of having a toddler or it could be literally down to her being pregnant. So I'm going to show you what my bump looks like now at 30 weeks. So, some people say I look quite big, some people say I look quite small, considering how big I was with Jaden at this stage, and I'm having the same gender. If you didn't know, I'm having another baby boy. So, here is my belly. He has kind of like just popped out though, like I literally was not showing this much. These stretch marks are actually from my first pregnancy. Well, I had no stretch marks my whole first pregnancy until I had the child. And then I looked in the mirror and I was like, where has these stretch marks come from, please? I didn't have any my whole pregnancy. Well, I think like maybe one or two towards the end. But then literally as I had him, I just had like all these stretch marks and I was just like, what happened? But this is baby boy now. He is quite low. Like if I go like this, he is quite low in a way. Oh, that just, he just moved. But I was quite low with Jaden as well. And some people say that you are low with boys. I just like to go like this and then like this. And then you can't, you know, like you can still tell I'm pregnant, but it's like still easily head. Like you can still easily hide, sorry, the fact that I'm pregnant. Like I could just wear like a baggy jumper or a baggy top and no one would know I was pregnant. But I really want my bump because I really want to look pregnant. You know, I want all them cute bump pregnancy photos and stuff like that. But for some reason, he just doesn't want to show that much. But he is finally starting to show, which is a good thing. So we're currently on the 22nd of the 2nd, 2022. And I have an appointment on the 8th of March with the hospital to have blood tests done and a glucose drink because they want to test me for diabetes. Now the reason they want to test me for diabetes, you can hear Jason in the background, he's at the gate playing, is because my older brother has diabetes. He got diagnosed with diabetes about two, two and a half years ago. I'm not really quite sure. And I can't remember what type it is either. He hasn't had it his whole life. He got it literally found out like two or three years ago. And then he has diabetes and he has to have to take like insulin before he eats, before, well as soon as he wakes up, before he goes to bed. It's crazy how much insulin my brother's got to take. And when I told my midwife, oh yeah, my my brother he has diabetes and so there was like how old is he i was like oh he's 22 this year there was like right you need to be tested for diabetes because it runs from your side of the family um it's nothing to worry about because i also spoke to them about me constantly being thirsty and obviously needing a wee constantly is normal in pregnancy so that wasn't a concerning thing but it was just being thirsty very exhausted very tired all the time like I know you're tired when you're pregnant and when you've got a toddler, but the exhaustion I was getting was literally bad. I'd be sitting on the bed or I'd be sitting on the sofa and I'd be asleep within 10 seconds. I was constantly tired and it was making me feel a little bit, not emotional, but just not with it. Like I had no motivation to do anything. And obviously I did have, I mean, I can't even say it. I'm anemic, <laughs> is that how you say it? Where basically you don't have like a lot of iron in your blood and I was taking iron tablets from when I was like 14. And um, when I was pregnant with Jaden, my iron levels actually went really high and I wasn't really worried. So that is another thing that I could have back again. Maybe my iron's quite low and that's what's making me tired. So they want to like test me for that as well as diabetes. I'm not really concerned, you know, I just, Obviously, I don't want to have diabetes and I don't want to be anemic and everything like that. But it's just, if it's better to find out now than later on. And it's just, I know, obviously, you can get diabetes in your pregnancy and then it can go away after you've had the baby. But in some cases, and this is what scares me, it can stay forever. And I've seen with people that have diabetes how much that's affected their life and how much they had to change their life. And I know, obviously, 
you get used to it, it becomes the norm, but it's just really scary to think that that could happen, but it's not really a big possibility, only a slight possibility. Hopefully it's nothing to worry about, and hopefully it doesn't get passed into the baby if I am diabetic, I'm not sure how that kind of works, but I just thought I would jump on and say that as well. One thing I can say about this little boy is he is so much more active than what Jaden was when I was pregnant with my first son so active he's constantly moving all the time i'll be sitting there and he just kicks me or he puts his back out and it's just like oh my god like this baby is so so active like Jaden was active but this baby is active active and i've actually managed to call it catch it sorry on camera which is just bizarre because with Jaden, every time i went to feel my belly moving he would stop because he's stubborn like that <laughs> so i was really shocked when i was actually like able to get it on camera of this little baby moving i was like yes finally finally But I don't even know what to say. I feel like I'm rambling on. Like when I was pregnant with Jaden, my seven month bump updates or my any of my updates, I literally had it all planned out. I knew what I was going to say to you. I knew what to update you on. But I feel like everything else is pretty much the same to when I last updated you. I mean, it was only a month ago. So it's not really a lot has changed. But with Jaden, it felt like everything was changing constantly. But I'm not sure whether that's because it was my first pregnancy and didn't know what to expect at all. And with this baby, I kind of know what to expect. But I am really scared about birth and labour. I have not yet got my um, birth plan or labour plan ready. I don't find the point of them because they never go to plan, in my opinion. But I do want to have a water birth this time. I did want to have a water birth with Jaden, but when I was in labour, he had reduced movement, so I had to be attached to like a machine so they could check his movement. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again with this baby and I'm able to get my water birth. And the only like painkiller thing I'll be using is gas and air. Hopefully, fingers crossed, let's hope I get my water birth. I am hoping I get my water birth. So I am really nervous about giving birth and I think it's because I kind of know what to expect. It's not the actual giving birth that scares me, it's the labour. I was in labour with Jaden for three days and I'm hoping what people say is true. I know it's not true for everybody but I hope it's true for me, which is your second child goes a lot quicker, the second labour is a lot quicker. Fingers crossed that actually happens because I don't want to be in labour for three days and it's not even the thought of oh I'm going to be in pain for three days it's the thought of I'm going to be on my own for three days if I am in labour for that long because of Covid and regulations and everything like that you're actually not allowed I don't know if it's going to change by the time I have a baby but you're not allowed anybody you're not allowed anybody until you're like three or four centimetres dilated or unless you have your own room your own private room I don't know how it really works but I just I hope it changes by then because I would obviously like someone there that I know and there's not a stranger. I understand the midwives and nurses know what they're doing and things like that, but it'd be nice to have the comfort of having someone there that I know and I'm not on my own. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm going through it on my own. I want <laughs> someone there and that is just my fear. I just don't understand how you're not allowed someone there while you're in labour, but you can go to a nightclub with a group of people or have a massive party and things like that. But yet, when you're in hospital, you can't have a family member or you know your next to king or someone that you want there with you it's ridiculous that is it for today's video it's just a gossipy ramble on video which i know when i was pregnant with jaden a lot of people liked but this time i've noticed like not a lot of people like it when i sit and ramble <laughs> but thank you for watching please subscribe keep yourself notified for future videos adios amigos